Hey guys, this is a video for the blacksmithing in Neo. Now, first thing I'm going to go over is you press dialog and you can have a request for them for both blacksmith. And you can use your patronage levels to just basically get some more small upgrades like discounts and markups and whatever, which the markup is just so you get more money when you sell her equipment. Of course, you can request for more Amasa and he also has upgrades. To farm or to get patronage levels, you basically just use the blacksmith. Now going right down the list, I'm going to go to forging and you can click on armor. Of course you can use weapons as well, but I'm going to start with armor because it's all the same either way. So say you really like the piece of armor you had and you have the recipe, but it's falling behind. Now there's two ways you can upgrade it. There's soul matching and there's crafting or forging. Now the Neo armor right here is what I got for pre-ordering and I actually like it because it has passive damage reduction. Of course. It seems like quite a few do, but you can always look at the set bonuses. The Neo armor gives key wall guarding, some life, some damage reduction, and extra Amrita. The red, the red of devotion gives final blow damage key. So basically, you would want to look through armor sets that you can craft, and then it, when you really find one you like, which you can look at the armor sets by pressing L2 once, and then you can press it a couple times again to go back to the stats. Now. Under the special effects for this Neo helmet at least, or for instance, you can see it says damage reduction and Neo incarnate, five pieces. These will always roll on the armor because of course that's what you're crafting. And the set be the set bonus is because the Neo armor is part of a set bonus. So yeah, that's always obviously gonna roll. As well as the damage reduction. So you would craft it and here are your required materials. You would want to put the highest quality of each one, which is the purple. So ingots you can put two, this one you can put one, the cord you can put two, which I have no purple cord right now, and the lacquer you can put one. So you would put the highest quality of all these and this would increase the chance at the top, it says right there, 22 for white, 24 for yellow rarity, 28 for blue rarity, and 26 for purple rarity. So of course the purple rarity is the best because it rolls the most stats, you would forge it. And for instance, this is what I got when I did mine. My armor uh, gloves and my armor leggings came out purple. And so basically they just get more stat rolls on them, as you can see compared to the white or the yellow. So the purple just get more stat rolls, that's the only difference, which obviously is the best. So mine got damage reduction because it always rolls damage reduction. And the set bonus, of course. And then toughness, unlimited on Mio, however you pronounce that. The yokai equipment drop rate and the Amrita earned. And of course, going into the next thing, that's all for forging. Basically everything you forge is going to be like that besides these tools. This is just for extra stuff. So let's go into soul matching. Soul matching, now let's say you you already crafted like the perfect piece of armor, you picked it up. What soul matching does is it's going to let you just put on your armor you have equipped. You're going to put that as a base. And then you're going to go to a material of a higher level item. For instance, see this one, it just, it, it won't eat the, uh, like, stuff it rolled. No, it's not going to eat the damage reduction and give it to your armor. But it's going to take the defensive multiplier and add it to yours. So, for instance, my, my gloves are 91 defense, and this one's 131. Of course, it doesn't take the whole 131 defense and add it to mine, but it, it will increase it to a similar level. For instance, the yellow gloves I will be consuming are 102, and it would make my gloves, my Neo gloves, 102, and they would go to 121. Of course, this costs a lot of gold depending on the level gap of the items you're using. So if you see on the bottom right, it costs almost all, almost all of the gold I have currently. It's almost 800,000 gold, and I only have 91, uh, 900k basically, and so you would not do that. Instead, I would recommend crafting. Of course, like I said, if you did craft the perfect armor set, then I guess you could do that. Now on to one of the last steps is reforging. Now, say you farmed or crafted a really good armor piece. Let me go down to armor, come on. And so you would want to, you didn't like one of the stats that rolled on it. For instance, not the helmet, I don't mind those stats. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, my chest piece also isn't showing because my chest piece is just a white rarity. It has no rarity at all. It's not even blue, yellow, or purple. 
so that's why it's, that's not showing up so go to the gloves and say I want something different like I didn't like the drop rate and so you basically just click on it you reforge it and it comes out different so you can see what it came out to is unlimited ammo which unlimited ammo means it has a chance to not consume ammo when I shoot and then you can reforge it again if you still don't like it and you're gonna just reforge again item drop rate and that's basically the basics of reforging now I don't think I left anything out but if you guys do have any questions then feel free to let me know disassemble just lets you farm more mats it'll tell you what you're gonna get or it tells you a chance at least I don't, I don't do that too often buying and selling is just basic buying and selling if you want more gold and yeah I believe that's it the hair of course is unlocked through the request unlock barber menu which I could do right now and then you start getting discounts yep and that's it anyways thanks for watching guys if you have any more questions just let me know in the comments and I will try my best to answer them and yeah if also if you're wondering how to unlock the second blacksmith um, that will be done in, let's see this region, the Tokai region. So, yeah, 